Have you ever felt powerless or helpless when seeing things that are happening in the world? In this Lenten video series, I want to look at technological vices, things that we mindlessly fall into when using technology, and to find a virtue that can counterbalance that. These are all coming from experience, from my own reflection and experience of, of technology. So in this last one, I want to look at what it is when we're faced with major world issues, things that are affecting uh, people systemically, and, and things that seem out of our control. We might have the temptation to think that, well, I can't do anything about it on my own, so I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to keep scrolling, or I'm going to prevent myself from reading more into it, or whatever it is. There's, there's a temptation sometimes to just shut down when faced with a serious crisis in our country or in our world. And I think that the Lord might be inviting us not to apathy, but to empathy. He doesn't want us to be indifferent towards the issues of our world. He wants us to engage with them. He wants us to recognize and understand where people are coming from. And so we might be invited, if we find ourselves guilty of you know, falling into that trap of thinking, well, I can't do anything. Well, maybe you can do something. Maybe you can pray for those who are affected by whatever situation or to bring to God what's in your heart. I feel helpless with this situation. Let your spirit show me how I can do something. And even if it seems like nothing, you can do your part, whether it's signing a petition, whether it's engaging in a conversation with someone about whatever issue it may be. Those are ways for us to say, Yes, I can't do everything. I can't solve this problem. But I can at least do my part. May the Lord give you his peace.